Hello guys, in this tutorial I will be showing you how you can easily manage your state in React using Context API. So, to demonstrate we're gonna make, let's say, let's do one component for now, that's gonna be like Context. So we're going to import this contact here. So for our context, we're going to make a file. And I usually call it depending on the app name. So if I'm building a movie app, I would call it movie context if I'm building uh, let's say weather app, I would call it weather context. I'm just gonna call it project context in our case. And what this file is gonna do, this is gonna store all of our states, functions, use effects, use refs, everything we have. So the first thing we need is to import React. And we need to import something called create context from React. Also, this is the place where you're gonna import the things you're gonna use. For example, if you have if you don't have use effect, you won't import it, but if you use it, you're gonna import it here. In our case, we just wanna import use state. Then the next thing we need to export the const. That's projects, uh, project context, that's the file name. And that's going to be equal to this, create context. So that's going to be the first thing we need. The other thing is going to be where our state and functions are going to be stored. So we're gonna do export const and we're gonna give this the similar name. These are project contexts. We're gonna call this project state. And this is just gonna be equal to an arrow function like this. And we will need to add a return. And what this is gonna return is returning the project context.provider. That's gonna allow us to pass the values. So you can make it like a component here. So it will be project context of provider. Has both opening and closing brackets. And then we want our whole app to have access to that. So how do we do that? We can pass a prop here called children. And we also need to do that inside these parentheses. So curly braces children. Okay, let's not format that right now but this is how you get access to all the components. For example, here we can have, let's say, let's make a state. John, and let's have, let's make a function. And inside the function, we just want to console lock some. So the way we are sending, we can send these props is by adding a value here next to this. And if you have more than one prop, which you usually will have, if you have a few losing context, you need double curly braces here. And then inside of this curly braces, you're gonna pass all the values you wanna send and use in other components. In our case, we wanna use all of them. So we wanna use name, 
then we'll just separate them with comma, then it's going to be set name. And we also want to pass a function. So, like I said, you can pass anything here. It could be function, use state, use ref, anything. So now, the first thing we need to do, if we go to app, first we need to import use context each time we're using it. So it's going to be import react, use context from react. You need to do this in every component where you want to use context. And the first thing we are only going to import in app is this const we made, which is project state. So we can import that. We will import curly braces and project state from and then our component, which is project's context. That's how we named it here. So the first thing we need to do is wrap our whole app with project state. That makes it so our whole app is going to have access to any states we have here or functions inside of this. So we're going to wrap our whole app in that project state. That's still not going to change anything. What we want to do is get these values. So we want to get the name and the handler function inside our context, for example, component that we made. So first thing, again, you need to import use context. But then we're never going to import project state again, which is this const we made. We always want to import project context in our components. Project state will only import in app and wrap your, our whole app. So all everything that goes inside the app here has access to every state. So we, that's why we passed children here. So instead of importing project state, we want to import this, which is project context. So we can import that the same way. from and it's going to be project context and now the way we get access to either any of these we want so let's say we would just want to get the name and handler we don't want to get all of these so you would add this structure in here you would have const curly braces and then the values you want to get from this file so in our case we want to get name which is our state and we want to get handler which is a function we made so we can do name then comma handler. and that's going to be equal to use context and inside parentheses we're going to pass this project context so once we did that we have access to these so for example if we want to display name here we made a state called name and it's set to john so if you want to display name here just do name like this and then our handler function we made is gonna console log hello world so let's add on click event to this h2 and we can call that handler function so if i open my console log and we click the number two here it's gonna console log hello world so that's how you can easily manage your state here in one file so you're going to have all your states, all your functions here. We're going to send it here as a prop to value. And then whatever, where in whichever component you want to import it, you need to import use context from the act first. And then you're going to import this project context file. And the last thing you need is this structuring here. All the values you want to get. So we can also get set name if we want it. Like we have, we passed the set name here. Just make sure all the values here you want to send, either it was, it is state or functions. You need to add it to this value here. If you don't add it here, they're not going to have access to it. So for example, if we remove name, this happened to me a lot. I forget to add stuff. So if we remove name from here, this doesn't have access to name anymore. So all the values you want to use in other components, you need to pass them here inside this value so having it this way i would always use context for bigger apps like if you have small app with few states 
you wouldn't be using them probably, you can just pass procs. But if you have something like, if we had, like let's say a few more components and then maybe we had contact info inside this contact. So let me show you how that would work. So for example, let's make contact info. Like that. And we're just gonna copy this. So what if we had contact info inside of content, for example, and we wasn't we weren't using the context in our case. And let's just put it here. So for example, if we weren't using context and let's say we had a state inside I don't know, inside an app. Let's say that's gonna be like a number. That's just gonna be set to one. So if we wanted to pass this number down to contact info, we will need to pass the prop to contact first here. Then inside of content, we would need to destructure it here. Then we would need to pass it to our contact info. Then we will need to go into contact info, get this structure here, and then finally use it here. So that's what we needed we need to do if we have like imagine you have a lot of these nested components so maybe inside the contact info we had I don't know contact link so we would need to pass that to contact info and then to contact link and so on and that's not as bad when you don't have many props but we could have like let's say we wanted to pass all of these right so we have two here and then we wanted to pass these so that would be four or five so there are five props going to contact then five props going to contact info and importing them there, and then five props destructuring here and using them. And as you can see, contact doesn't even use number prop. It's just there to send it to contact info, we're not using number prop here. That's where our context comes in. So, it, like you see here, we're sending all the props inside the context, which is name, set name, and handler, but we only want to use those inside the contact. So that's the only place we, we actually import them. We're not importing them in app and then sending them to contact. So I hope you like this tutorial. Like I said, I would be using context only for bigger apps or whenever you have a lot of states, functions, whatever it could be. And it's gonna keep everything simple. It's gonna keep your code clean. It's not gonna be messy as if sending 20 props to a component. And it's really easy to set up, as you've seen. It doesn't take more than like a two minutes to set up this file. And then you'll have access to it in your all of your other components the way you need it. So that would be it for this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.